to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. And this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to take a look at particles. So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjazz.com and we'll go to the code section up here, boop, and copy the template. We'll reduce this down and paste the template into a file that we've called smoke.html. There we go. We also have a picture of some fog or mist or smoke there, and that's a PNG. It's in the assets folder. So we've got that. We're bringing in the latest Zim, which happens to be Zim015 at the moment. We'll also code this on interstellar uh, colors there, and we'll put this in a fill mode rather than a fit mode. Fit mode fits 1026 into the window. Fill mode fills up the window with 1024 by 768. Okay, right, let's see what that looks like. We'll save that up and open in default browser here. And there it is. So now that fills that whole screen like that with our 1024 by 768 as opposed to a fit. And if we do the fit, we might want a different color. I'll just say black there for now so you can see. Let me refresh that. And now this black bar is at the side because we fit 1024 by 768, or the black bar might be at the top. Okay, so that's fitting it in there. Uh, but we've moved to a fill. And the, this color doesn't actually matter. If we save that, we won't see it. So we save that, and it fills it with the 1024 by 768. The black is kind of seen a little bit in there as we're stretching it. Uh, both those interstellar. All right, has that been five minutes? Oh, with an A. Has that been five minutes already? Code in five minutes. Spelling interstellar in five minutes. Can we do it? <laughs> anyway, here we go. We'll get rid of this circle. And so we're ready to put our code here. And that means we are ready to begin our code in five minutes. That's great. So let's get her started. First thing we're going to do is, after the ready, we will bring in uh, mist.png like that, and it's in the assets folder. Uh, now we can uh, make a new emitter like so, and in that emitter, we can emit a new sprite. Sprites are more efficient uh, than image, although um, images work fine in general, but if you can do a sprite, that would be great. And then we're going to do mist.png. It pulls it from the uh, GPU. And that's a one by one. It's just a picture like that. So that's what we're going to emit. And we will dot center that. And let's see what we end up getting here. OK. Well, uh, there you go. But it doesn't look all that great. So let's, um, let's fix that up a little bit. So we're going to turn to the Zim Duo technique and we'll make it OBJ. Uh, but by the way, you might want to notice that that was like a sprite in one minute. <laughs> OBJ, code, code in one minute. Uh, so the OBJ is the sprite and we don't need to, uh, let's see which part gets the squiggle. Uh, this goes down here, that gets a squiggle and comma. And then we can say various things such as gravity if we set the gravity to zero and we set the force to zero, then it just kind of stays in one place. Uh, so let's have a look. It grew bigger, uh, but it just stayed in one place and all looks the same. So let's now also randomize the rotation. So we can randomize a bunch of different things and we're gonna randomize the rotation uh, the min of that, well, we don't have to say the min, it's a zero, so we'll just say a max of 360. So that'll randomize the rotation as it comes out, as our particles come out. And there it is, rotating and making a ball of cloud. But what we're going to do now is we're going to animation, we're going to set the animation of this to be uh, the props. We'll animate it up to a min of one and a max of three. And we'll start off with this sprite at a uh, scale of zero. So that sets the scale to zero there of that. We can also say um, uh, shrink 
we won't want it to shrink if we're trying to scale it. So shrink colon false, like so. Now let's see what we've got. Something's broken. Animation commas, commas, probably we're missing a comma somewhere. Rotation of max, well, let's have a read of what our error is. F12, no error, but we don't see anything. Huh. Animation, props, oh, uh, props, what props indeed. Um, scale, sorry. Scale at a min and a max. So we just uh, weren't animating the scale and therefore the scale was zero and we didn't see anything. So we come on over here. Whoa, okay, uh, right. Yeah, well, that's coming at us rather quickly. Let's slow it down. So we'll set a time on that of say four seconds. And here we will say the life of the animation or of the particle will be four. And let's have a look. And we save it. So time of four, life of four, refresh. Oh, uh, maybe now we've got an error. <laughs> F12, we have a temporary directory. Uh, don't want that. F12, uh, props. Hmm. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Ah, oh, right. comma. This time, this time it was a comma. One, one the bar, and we got four minutes on our animation. So there it is. It grows bigger. That looks pretty nice, I guess. Uh, maybe it's growing a little bit too big for us. I, I put a maximum of five. Let's try a maximum of three on that scale. And there it is growing. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's change the alpha of it though. So. Uh, Drop the alpha dot elp, and we're about done though. Dot elp, 0.2 maybe, and not only that, let's warm. Warm, colon true, and there we are. Let's stop the ticker. Uh, let's have a look in what we got. Oh, the warm didn't work. <laughs> Did I save it? I didn't save it. So let's save it, and then we'll review it here. Here we go. There it is warmed already. So what warm does is it means it doesn't grow bigger from, it, it sort of knows how big it is. It just starts in from already running. Wow, would you look at that? Isn't that beautiful? And so as we change the size of it here, that can just uh, stay inside. It was very hypnotic mist, isn't it? Let's F11 that. Uh, full screen. Uh, thank you, Google. I don't want to press F11. All right. Okay. Nice, huh? So this has been a code in five minutes uh, with Zim. And we manipulated a particle emitter to, um, to give us that uh, beautiful smoke effect very easily. Do so you like that? Um, the different alpha will affect um, how big it is, but also you could make it come in smaller, be faster or shorter by adjusting the life and the time there. All right, I am Dr. Abstract, and this has been a Code in Five Minutes with Zim. Right on, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, come and visit us, zimjs.com slash Discord, zimjs.com slash slack. We'd love to see you there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>